Mars is just disintegrating. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are playing Universe Sandbox. Now, Universe Sandbox is a sandbox or game that actually simulates space to a certain degree. So yeah, guys, let's get into the video. And here we have our planet Earth, and we're going to be throwing some asteroids at it, and also some planets. So yeah, here we go. So first things first, we're going to click Add, and this is where we can add uh, objects and planets and things like that. So we're going to slow down time a bit, and we're going to go ahead and grab our random asteroid, and just fire one at the earth and see what happens so let's go ahead and let's select our uh, little asteroid here there we go so if we zoom in there you can see that is our asteroid and that is earth and we're still way above where the international space station uh, roams around but um now we're starting to get to that level now we are below that level and uh Earth welcomes the asteroid, or the asteroid welcomes Earth. So here we go. You can see the shadow approaching there, and boom, there is the impact, and you can see the shockwave of fire shooting out across the atmosphere there, and you can see the ejecta being ejected into uh, space and our upper atmosphere, and then crashing back down onto Earth. So as you can see, it's been a few moments, and... That is a pretty big uh, destruction area. Now, as you can see, these red spots here are actually debris raining down back onto the Earth. So this is a pretty huge area here. Um, and this is probably going to be an extinction event. But um, we're not going to wait a few years until all life on this planet dies off. We're going to kill it instantly. And to do that, we're going to have to get some bigger objects. Um, and let's go ahead and move from an asteroid to a moon. Now, if we go ahead and click a uh, planet... Oh, no, they actually have a moon category here. All right, so let's go ahead and select our own moon because it's obviously the closest to us, and it'll be a nice representation to see uh, if uh, the unthinkable happens where our own moon collides with us. Interesting, there's a giant crater here. Um, I don't know if that's really accurate or not, but... Uh, we are approaching the Earth, there is Africa, there is South America there, and it looks like we're going to be hitting South America. So uh, we're going to slow it down here just a little bit. Alright, we're actually going to be hitting uh, the Atlantic Ocean, so there we go, there is the main impact. You can see chunks of our own planet, the mantle and uh, the crust are being ejected into space, and as you can see, they are just flying over the Earth at probably the level of the International Space Station, and colliding down. And somehow the United States has avoided all of this. Of course, they won't be able to avoid the fallout from all of this, but they've avoided the main destruction zone. Um, and as you can see, yeah, that's quite a lot of Earth destroyed there. So yeah, let's go ahead and accelerate time here and see um, what happens when the Earth cools down. Speaking about temperature, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click our surface. And this shows us the temperature of the Earth. So you can see, of course, this is pretty cold. Let's switch it to Fahrenheit here. Now, as you can see, uh, with the temperature here, you can see the main impact, some of the uh, debris being launched out and landing back onto the Earth. And if we accelerate time here, you'll see how this cools down. There we go. So we're starting to see the temperature return to a somewhat normal level. That equator is beginning to return somewhat. But you can still see... That's where the main impact was, and that's where the heat's coming out. And we're still not there yet, and there we go. All right, so we've somewhat recovered temperature-wise from the impact, and look at the date. It's 2020. All right, well, this is a fitting time to end uh, the world as a whole. Now, we're going to need something big, so let's move on to planets. We've got quite a lot of planets here. Let's try something just a little smaller than Earth. How about Mars? Um, and uh, we'll see what happens when Mars collides with our Earth. Um, so let's quickly go to the Earth here. And there is the impact. Wow. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow, the Earth is um, not doing so well. Mars is just disintegrating. Oh my gosh. There it goes. Yep, Earth is done. Okay, yeah, you can start to see chunks coming out now. So that means um, uh, Earth is done. Earth has been done for a while uh, since we 
struck it with that first asteroid, but, um, yeah. Okay, so it is 16,000 degrees where that impact was. Holy cow. And the Earth's temperature is a nice, cool 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. All right, so we'll speed up time a bit here, and you'll see on the map as debris rains down, um... It's, it's going to start appearing. So, like, one there. Of course, you have the little chunks dropping down as well. And uh, looks like uh, Mexico is done for and the bottom half of the United States. Um, Canada's gone. Somehow, the United States is uh, a little bit unscathed. But, uh, yeah, the Earth is not supposed to look like that. Not at all. And you can see the temperature map is just going insane. Wow. Water is now starting to flood multiple continents here. You can see that's gone. Not even Antarctica could survive the onslaught of destruction. But let's go ahead, let's speed things up and see how things move along here. You can see parts of the Earth are basically permanently gone at this stage. They are out to space. Some of them are returning and colliding. So yeah, it looks like the Earth is at a nice cool temperature of 1,700 10 degrees, give or take, in Fahrenheit. As you can see, uh, the Earth has uh, not survived very well. But the Earth is not gone gone. The only way to really get rid of the Earth is to get rid of the Sun. But not to get rid of the Sun in the way that you think. To get rid of the Sun using an explosion. Now if we go to our tools, click the explode icon, and click the Sun, there we go. The Earth is now burning up and it has been reduced to the size of a baseball. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time guys. Goodbye.